We don't need to actually, you know, give everything to them. The birds, stupid birds. Let's see if we can fight that guy down there. Are we worthy yet? Wait a minute. Good. Maybe you can walk off of that. Maybe I need to go check up on Solaire again. Maybe we need to set fire on him. Set him on fire. No? We have no idea now. I uh, have heals. Jesus Christ, you can actually walk. Forty fucking dexterity. Sepoku. Oh, the attack set. Jesus Christ, I want to use this. Getting attack damage to the attacks. I don't know. Now I need to read up on how to get to him to attack us. No battle us at all. Damn it, I want to use this now. But we're way off in terms of... Uh, In terms of stats. I think this will be fine too. Double claws. Oh yeah.
guess let's check up on Solaire again. See what happens this time. Uh, nice rest. Um, Banner storeroom, I think. actually need to get sword, right? I should get that. And we can propose marriage. Let's see what happens when, when we propose to the firekeeper, I guess. Beast of lust. Jesus Christ. It really is like being married, right? You bitch. Fuck you. And that fucking ring. Okay, we can form a covenant with him. So let's continue. All the stats we need for all the fancy stuff. No, oh, that damage arc. Easy peasy. Right, I wanna, uh, wanna, 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 wanna this, want this, want the sunlight.
We're so strong, we break boxes. Taste of your own medicine. Look at that, he shit himself. Shat himself. Let's fight some. What the fuck's the use case for this now? Wait a minute. But they're not. What the hell? Over the weight limit. Guess I could just sell off all the shot Titan shards. Yeah, there's no use for them. Oh fuck, I forgot to answer my weapon. Would you lock on to the right guy, fuck six? Don't mind me healing right in front of you. Never mind. surprise every time I miss this bitch she actually killed me okay so far uh, so much for me like dominating the game <laughs> Yeah, let's get the ninja stuff. I want to try that out again. That was pretty fucking fun. Be a sneaky motherfucker. sense be a sneaky motherfucker actually the claws now would make sense right Except the fact I don't see myself. Prize, bitch.
Look at them run away. Do this the sneaky way. After that worked out, I cut the body behind him. Ooh, Sage's scroll, not bad. No, that's more like it. What the? Okay. Definitely need to get more arrows. And no more arrows. Guess it's time to do, the, do it the old fashioned way. And we usually go that way first, but since we don't have arrows, that might be a bad idea, but let's do it anyway. We have some bolts still, right? Yup. Work out. God forbid the enemy walks in at a slight angle. You know, you literally need to walk, walk straight up to them. Wasn't the spy hander guy here? Guess not. Ooh, a chest. Loin claw, really game. Right, these guys shouldn't even see me coming this time. In theory.
Headshot. Now, if I remember correctly, there's gonna be a boss spawning spawning in here. Not the boss, but the NPC. Which is kind of pain he has to kill. Got a bit ready for him, so let's take out the Uchi Katana. I'm not sure that we want to go down to the Mound Makers. Um, maybe we should since I can actually run past most of the enemies. It wouldn't be a problem to get back. So we can actually form the Covenant with them. Wait a minute, we can do that anyway, I think. So many bombs. Yep. No, not him. Oh, fucking hell. Stop targeting. God damn it. Well, shit. Wait a minute. It's not supposed to be full of bodies. From what I remember. Yeah, this this is the weapon you want to get here, the bloodlust. Well, the holy, hollow, hollow slayer knight sword ain't that bad either, or the flint bow. Actually, you want to get all of them, more or less. And the shield ain't half bad either. Increased stamina damage with 25%. Yeah, everything still here is pretty good. Increased damage outright, which is pretty nice. Yeah, now we have to run through all of that again. Ah, fuck. We don't have time for all these bombs. Maybe I should have bought some arrows, right? Bolts.
Ooh, a holy gem. Nice. Let's see, we got one lethal and one sharp. I think we want to go for lethal. That decreases the amount of Uh have another weapon use. Rubbish. All we ever wanted. You want to jump off of there? Nope. I guess not. I mean, I should be able to just go past him, right? Yep. Upset down productions. So all's go good. We just wanna take it a little bit slower since the modder changed all the fucking enemy placements in this. So we never know what's gonna drop on in us on us. Yeah, Sunders. Uh, the fascinating thing about Sunders for me is that it changes every fucking time you play it. Like every update is just totally different. I think the first one I played was version six, or eight point something. I'm not quite sure. Well, like each time you play it, it's a fucking fuck off, big, big fuck off surprise. Well, he, uh, you're not brave. If, well, I mean, he did add. Uh, I'm playing in the wanderer mode right now. He did add uh, explorer mode into it, besides the normal, the uh, gauntlet and one other mode that you can choose at start. So you can actually get some, you know, benefits like 30% uh, more absorption, so the enemies deal less damage and some other stuff. So he did make it. Or did add an easy mode into the game if you're having trouble getting past all the shit in this. So might you might want to give it a whirl. The beginning you talk like to the you know petrified tree or whatever it's, it's called. I can't remember. And then you choose the thing there. Thanks for the follow. Yeah, go, go grab them all. It's, there is an easy mode now. And again, I mean, I find this easy enough. When you know what the fuck's coming at you. <laughs> Most of the time. You just need to assume that there's gonna be a new enemy around every corner, and that's about it. I do wanna get bunch of standard arrows and a bunch of bolts that's for sure we can do this wait a minute no 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 the katana in there Bow in here. So we can be the bow master now. This ain't the smartest of ideas, but let's do it anyway. You believe? Now let's see how, how we go. Oof. Not 
was close. The shadow, uh, the shadow garb definitely helping us out there. Of course, we get his stuff too, right? Wait a minute. Increase wire damage. Why am I not surprised? Yeah, yeah, go back. Okay, I'm not sure. Let's see if we can kill this guy out right before he gets to us. Yes, we can. Nice. I just need to get the stats for the bed bows. That's gonna be even better. More clutch rings, so that's the same. Did I miss anything? No, I don't think so. Could be an item here somewhere, right? Yeah, over there. Never mind. You know what? Fuck you. Yeah, there's a chest there. Never mind, not an item. You motherfucker. I think he's there in the OG version of the game, right? Lens ring. What does that do again? Below her. Okay, we're not getting. I guess I can drop one of the weapons and we're gonna get there. That would work. Yeah. Surprise, bitch. Look at that bastard down there. I'm gonna snipe him probably. I don't want to deal with him. Kryptonite for you. Oh. They are kind of shit. I mean, all the, all the enemies here, when you can't tell if they're gonna stagger or not from your attack, Alright, we need to go the other way. Uh, I mean, you can't tell if they're gonna stagger or not. They're a pain in the ass. I mean, look at this. I'm actually surprised he didn't catch me there. Like, uh, for, for me, the, uh, one of the hardest enemies is the uh, Irtel guy down there, Knight. They either s wipe the floor with me, or I wipe the floor with them. There's no, like, in-between. 
I mean, is there, is there the thing there still? Oh no, never mind. So I usually like try to kill them off before I get to them. Mimics aren't that bad, unless you're in a tight space and the camera to, like fucks you over, which is usually what happens, right? Look at these guys. Camera is always going to be a pain in the ass, man. Oh shit. Because usually the mimics are in a tight confined space. Not like in the open like that. So that screws you over so fucking much. Come on. I do need to get my fate up. You can just snipe enemies like that to get two crossbows and just snipe them. Damn it. Wasn't there a crystal lizard here? Yeah, there is. Let's see above him. Wait, what? Well, well, when you when you play this, you don't really go for builds because you can use everything more or less, and everything is viable. I do like going for the light weapons like swords, not great swords. I like the fast attack, so I can actually get out of the way once they start attacking me. Since you can go like for a calm down, you bastard. Since you can literally go for a bow build, I mean, in this. Oh, shit. Hmm. Okay, first things first. to the dog. Am I? No? Jesus Christ. Come on. Yeah, fuck you, I'm not gonna deal with you. And you have infinite uh, magic, so... Pretty easy to deal with anything. Until you run up to the intruder and he wipes your ass. Wait a minute. No, we don't want to go there that way any yet. Ooh, let me actually see this. Magic build on the on on the normal game or on this? 
that guy is gonna drop in, is he? Is he? There's nothing there, right? It's funny, like before when I played the uh, Dark Souls, I never used the shield. Now, nowadays, my reflexes are so shit. I can't actually play the game without it. So I usually go for shield builds now. I'm gonna die to fucking rats here. Ah, shit, I don't have any blessings. Uh... What removes poison again? Uh, fuck. I guess nothing, right? No, 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 like on uh, Dark Souls 1, I can actually parry shit. On Dark Souls 2, I can't parry for the life of me. On 3, sometimes I can parry something. It usually does work out for me. Covered moss. I think you get that once you get to the swamp area. Baron's forest, right? Not yet. Beast cutter. Wait a minute. Let me. We can actually see the weapon. The fucking range on this thing, man. Now this is something. Yeah. Well, I guess it is uh, the Bloodborne weapon, right? Right? I think it is. Oh, is it? I can't remember. I did never play Bloodborne, I never got the PS4. Which is a damn shame. <laughs> Watcher. Watcher again. We need the miracle miracles for the greater heals. Do we have a friend who might give me? Why is there so many of them here? It has have the. I think he has the PS4, but he's getting a PS5, so he might lend it to me so I can actually finish some games. And again, a uh, Bloodborne uh, port might be coming too, so that's so that's nice for us PC players. Oh yeah, this this is this is a weapon to go. The range, man. Jesus Christ. Okay, it's not that that far so oh, she's gonna hit me you have more hyper armor you bitch temporarily increase intelligence as if that's gonna help and if you select the like normal playthrough without any you know, other things from the mod, you can actually upgrade the weapons, you know, like in the usual game. In the other options, you can only, you know, come on, heal up. You can only infuse them. That's the thing I like the most about the mod. 
We can actually play with all the all the weapons. Oh, that's right. I think I remember a boss fight coming up. It's not a lot of a boss fight. So let's see. I'll keep using this. Let's see. Um, let's let's go open the, the the fucking sewer thing first. Shortcut. But at least I think we can open it from this side. I'm not quite sure. Cause I'm probably gonna get wrecked by the boss there. If it's the same as before. Stupid fucking rats. Sadly, we can't throw that far. Yeah, shortcuts are a must in this game, but especially later on once you get to the Lordship Castle, right? I do want to use this. Look at the fucking attack pattern. Jesus Christ, man. Unfortunately, I... I'm, I need 40 dexterity for this. And we're nowhere close to that. Shortcut first. Well, it's even better. It's not the final form of the mod, right? It's gonna be more, even better later on. I'm not the soccer ball man. It's even better, you can actually go and download the older versions of the mod and they're still pretty good, you know. Increased lock, yeah, why the hell not? You can even play the older versions, they're, you know, still decent. I don't want that guy to spawn in. Immediately, I want to go deal with the boss first. Or maybe I should go deal with the skeletons, right? Kick their bony asses. First up solution. Bone them. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Village the fucking remains, man. Watch them bone my ass, though. Let's equip a shield just in case. Crush him into dust. What does the blood gem do again? 
uh, increase or just give bleed damage, right? <laughs> oh, those are some cracked bones. Collar bones, to be exact. Mimic? Nope. Not that bone shot, finally. Right. Uh, I guess I don't. I don't think we need to go back. Let's go deal with the other side of this bullshit and that settlement. Hopefully the lizard. Wait a minute. Can we go back up? Yes, we can. Oh, right. I forgot. Boss. Fight. Uh, I want to use... Bitch Katana, probably. I'm well, not there, though. If I remember correctly... They spawn in a... Uh, the dwarf guys from Dark Souls 2, if I remember correctly. We'll see if it's still him here. Maybe even use a buff on the weapon, right? Fine resin... Yep. Oh my fucking god. Yep. <laughs> so much for mine. Tough ass. Uh, uh, how the fuck am I going to beat him? That is the question. Especially without any help. If we got the summons that might be actually, you know, a bit helpful. <laughs> you can actually beat him pretty easily. I just can't remember what he's weak to. You know, like all the enemies you want to find, what, what the hell their weakness is. I'm just not sure if it's lightning or something else. I know he's weak to bleed damage, that's for sure. Come on, throw your stuff. Got something for you, man. Maybe that's how you beat him. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I mean, thankfully, you can just, you know, pick up the souls and not deal with them. Um, I'm gonna give it one more go. If I get wiped again, I mean... The worst part is you only get rubbish from it. Jesus. Get the fucking rubbish out of my fucking face, game. Fuck you, avoid that, I don't know. No, 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 shit. One more hit in. And that would have been it. I think I'm gonna just pick up the souls and ignore them for now. Just for now. I don't need fire bombs, come on now. Just pick this thing up. We only need more six more levels to actually use this full on. The crowd control on this thing, though. What's the attack like on this? Okay, so I have to use it in single, single handed or two hands to actually, you know, have the fancy attack on. Backstab that attack on this guy. Blunt gem. Fuck, fuck that guy. I think I grabbed the. Uh, a dog companion or something. Or rat companion with me. And just dodged around, and the dog actually, or the rat, actually poisoned him. So that's how I got rid of him the first time I met him. Oh, fuck off. You're losing you and your fucking reach. You do need to check upon how you actually get the companions, though. I'm gonna get wiped by these guys, am I? I don't know why I think I can actually get through their poise. It's impossible. Hmm. 
Mr. Onion Man. I wouldn't have been surprised if I fell down there. The broken sword does 150 damage. Oh, that's something. Full axe. Heal mesh. Hell parry. I didn't know that was a thing. Increase physical damage by 5%. Look at that. What is the bone wheel? Wheel of Fate. Let's meet our friend up here. I help anytime. <laughs> Why does he snipe that fucking thing down there? The demon? And this color ring. Is that the one that makes us invisible? Damage of no, never mind. That's not the one. Okay, so let's uh, go back all the way. I guess I should sell all the Titanite shards since I don't have a use for them. Let me actually check what the Rat King can actually give us. I don't actually like using that many items. Slows down the game too much. On the gesture. Ooh. Nobody already got that. Oh, we can get a fire gem outfit. Nice. Potted whip. Gives us poison damage. The thing half bad. Uh, we have that. Have a fireball. But I don't have the attunement slots yet. Right, I should get this so I don't have to use Homeward Bones, right? Let's use this plot. Or we'll just get that. Oh, <laughs> Force heal, heal, wait, what? Alright, this needs 20. Let's go to the companion guy, see what we can actually get from him. Okay, 
He actually gives you all the stuff. You don't actually need any of the other ones. Which is item. And... Wait, what? Now, I'm not quite sure how you get this. Oh, right, right. Uh, I need to set them as your... Uh, this thing. Yeah, enable collection of ritual incenses. Yeah, that's right. That's how you get them. that I want to do here. Right, we want to buy the bows. But she doesn't sell. Let's see. What else can I use of these from these? Play more. Wait a minute. We can use a twy hander, but not take a lay more. Let's just shovel a rapier, a stock, now which katana. get all the bows and stuff. If you wanna infuse the weapon. Wait a Extra C. This reduces weapon of stamina consumption by 15%. Yeah, that's what we need. Apply a stack and 1% fire absorption debuff 5 seconds. Now I'm not sure if that works like before, so it does fire damage to the enemies. Heal infusion. Let me see if we can infuse a shield. Mm, never mind. See what can I use as a fire weapon? I mean, we don't have the fire thing. I'm dumb. Only if I remember, it just gives us HP. I think. Uh. All right, I'm not gonna upgrade anything yet. But it's already one in the morning. I think we're gonna end this thing here. The next time we need to beat the great rotted curse, uh, the fucking tree thing, and the demon in the undead settlement. Then move on to the whatever the next area is called. I forgot. So guys, thank you for watching. Have a good morning, good day, good night. I'll see you next time. Yeah, no problem, man. You can uh, jump on YouTube. It's probably going to be on YouTube. And I'm probably going to be online on Gilded if you want any... If you have any questions and whatnot. I think the, all the links should be in the profile somewhere. See ya.